Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just knowing that all, all our things that we are going through right now is really going to make a tremendous impact on our lives. You know, to be able, to, we're already into that next chapter, but being able to receive everything that the universe is really ready for us to receive to be able to see things for what they truly are and let go of whatever that could be holding us back from the big blessings that we have forthcoming so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you know it just gives you life that you want to go ahead and share please go ahead and do so even if it's to your loved ones family or friends or even a fellow empath they're going through uh, trying times need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose or even need spiritual guidance go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video this beautiful uh, uh, meditation I'm listening to in the background is just like so beautiful and refreshing I love like those impacts on those meditations you can get you get that chill that instant chill when you first put it on you know it's good it's called positive music for uh, morning vibes have a great start to the to the day relaxing and release all stress you know I need to listen to this in the morning um, you know to start my day off but um anyways the video I'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey Oka is the intense body changes your gift takes you to unfamiliar territory um it, it is uh, I had to put something else right there Um, going through all these different changes it's like our bodies are going through changes it's just like if you're a woman if you had children you know it's, it feels the same way it's like your hormones are changing um, your body's feeling different um, we're going through these major shifts so it's allowing certain things to be let go of you know like being released our energy is changing a lot of times it's like especially through a lot of uh, the empaths that are going currently going through spiritual awakenings that I'm coming into contact with you know they're having intense headaches because they're having so many major downloads it's just like when you're when your gifts have been dormant for so long and then you're finally had to go through that tragedy of impact in your life to be able to have that spiritual awakening you're going through series of uh, Kundalini Ascension Dark Night of the Soul um, a lot of downloads on past lives uh, uh, or what your mission is about or seeing things for what they truly are it can be very traumatizing it can be sad you know you supposed to give yourself that grief of being able to let part of that life go because it's something that you have known for oh so long and then for you to be able to smack the reality to be able to say no that was all an illusion you're like what the what you know so it's just like so many different things that are going on with your body like lately for the last few nights since the you know the lunar eclipse I, you know it was other people that were going through the same thing I'm not gonna mention any names or whatever but you know I know they're watching a video uh, getting restless leg syndrome it looks it felt like the top half of me was uh, ready to go to sleep and the last part was like speedy Gonzalez ready to run around it's like my bottom half was ready to run so I'm having these you know my legs being jerked and wake me up out of my sleep um being very cold so i've been putting on my space heater been turning down the air conditioning even though you know it could be like 74 degrees in my house it, it, i don't know if it was like spirits being around me but i was like i had to sleep in a jogging jacket and put double socks on and you know about to put on some glove last night because i was freezing you know and i know i worked out so it's been giving me a boost of energy because i don't know if it's just lately i hope i've been eating a lot of fruit lately been eating that yellow watermelon that I've been telling y'all about it's so freaking good I need to go ahead and get me some more out of there um 
and peaches. You know, I've been eating a lot of that. So it's been giving me a lot of energy that I've had. The solar plexus, if you've been having problems, I know um, a lot of empaths have, you know, digestive issues and stuff like that either you cannot be frequently on bowel movement not to be tmi but hey i was that type of child that you know i really struggled with that because i was very powerful in my you know on my empathness whatever you want to call it to where it will mess up my solar plexus and i've been like this since i was you know all the time so you know all these different changes our body is going through you know, like earlier I was having hot flashes, so I had to be able to turn my fan on. Now I'm freezing cold, and it's just like making me feel like I'm going through menopause. I'm like, what am I going through? I'm not, you know, it gives you somewhat of flu-like symptoms. You know, if you wear contacts, your eyes will probably burn, you know, lately. Like, you can't wear them all the time. You know, sometimes I can be doing a set of videos, and next, you know, you'll see me with my glasses on, which is irritating because I hate wearing glasses. Um, what else? Um, I know I've been having a lot of headaches. And I've been telling, you know, some of my love bugs that are going through these series of headaches, especially through the sinus, uh, sinus or, or forehead. It's, it's like you're receiving a lot of download and it's just like in this abling, you know, your third eye to be more agape than it usually is because it's like you're on a different level now. So it's, you know, it's, it's starting to separate because sometimes I can I can hear, you know, right in the middle, it, I can hear it cracking or sometimes I've been seeing people with scars. You know, I've had mine to where it was so bad, the scars will, you know, um, scars will start forming in the middle of your eyebrows where it can get very intense. Um, I noticed that there are also some uh, empaths that are females that are having cycles that are two times heavier than they usually are. You know, it's making your blood, you know, get very hyperactive. So it's, it's forcing you to have worse cycles than you usually do not to embarrass anybody or whatever but I've noticed that change and a lot of people that I've been coming in contact with that are females that had that issue um the gene the dreams are getting really crazy I told one of my love bugs the other day I had a dream with Beyonce and Kim Kardashian and it I was like I took one of Beyonce's dresses and Kim's like uh she's gonna be mad because you sit up here and drop you know you wore her dress without asking and I was like no she's not because she liked me <laughs> she don't like you, but she like me. And we were arguing about that back and forth. And I'm waking up like, what the hell? Why am I dreaming about Kim Kardashian and daggone Beyonce? Next thing you know, I see Beyonce and her, you know, that video spirit, which I really love. And I just so happen to love the dress. So a lot of your dreams might just tell you little off the wall things that you should look out for that current day. Or they might give you omens to be able to allow you to be able to pay attention to stuff like that. So it's like the dreams get crazy. Your body temperature changes fluctuates back and forth back and forth back and forth um is it, it heeds heralds or omens and stuff that you might need to look out for um you'll probably have that sense to walk away from people that it took you a lot to you know you kept giving excuses or whatever so you've seen yourself distance yourself from toxic situations from toxic relationships it's uh allowing you to see things in a totally different way now you can probably you know even though there's some questions that we probably have when it comes to certain situations like am i going on the right path or you know am i doing the right things and stuff like that all these different things are going to come to play on your path like i always tell people if you know you have a gut feeling about certain relationships you have you know you can really love that person but if you know it's if it's stunting your growth or they're not contributing to your growth, but keeping you, you know, grounded in a bad way, you know it's time for you to walk away. Or there's a lot of times right now that people are, are you know, jumping into unfamiliar territory when it comes to their gifts. So it's like a lot of their crown chakras has been vibrating, you know, to the point where it can be very intense for where you can find, catch yourself dazing in a, you know, having daydreams. Where you know you might find yourself portal jump, portal portal jumping, or you're being led to places where you don't understand um, why you're standing in front of certain things. You know why why you keep drawing yourself to be in these situations. A lot of people are walking and don't realize. You know they're probably seeing something else, but you know being led to certain situations, certain la landmarks that might have been something to them in a prior life that made an impact in their life or there's something they did in their inner you know their past life in certain places or you're drawn to want to go to different places in 
in the world. You're drawn to it, makes you want to go look it up, do research. This is allowing you to be able to open that gate from your past life to let you know this is a place you've been through or this place holds a significance to you that you need to get more information about. There's a lot of people I've been feeling that way too. It's like the more I connect with different um, empaths that are led towards me that, you know, are feeling open and drawn to me. Um, about certain situations allowing me to be able to guide them towards that um, it's like sometimes I feel like when people are coming towards me and they need to talk to me on a personal sense it's like they're you know the universe is using me as their guardian to be able to educate them on things on why they are the way they are why do they keep thinking about certain things why are they drawn to certain things your eating habits is probably um, changed significantly um, things that you might eat might not be attractive to you anymore you know like if you're eating a certain thing it might not even be like Ugh, I don't like that no more that's just so nasty you know blase blase so all these different things to where uh it's it's really making your body do a oopsie doopsie and you're like what the heck is going on you probably have different sleep patterns um a lot lately let me see what else is going on it's just like there's a lot of things that you, you know, you're being attached to or detaching yourself from. Um, there's a lot of things where, you know, you might want to seek solitude to where you feel like you're trying to figure yourself out. And that's fine. You know, there, that's when universe is allowing you to be able to take full focus on what you're trying to achieve in your life. Where are you trying to, what are your goals? What are you trying to meet up with? You know, what do you need to embrace? What do you need to know more about yourself? So universe is allowing you to be in that solitude. And it's fine. You know, a lot of people might be looking at you like, why do you want to be by yourself? You don't like me anymore and this and this and that. You know, there's people that I connect with and, you know, they're on a mission just like I am. I can't hold that against them. You know, if it's meant for us to talk, we'll talk. If not, you know, that's all right, too. You know, I don't get mad or anything like that. But it's just that they're, that's their season right there at that time to be able to seek solitude, to be able to find out who they are. You know, the universe has allowed me to be blessed to be in contact with certain people for me to be able to add that extra information. It's like we're all that missing puzzle that we need to take along our lives. It's not like we're using each other, but it's like we're using each other in a positive way that, you know, this person you're connecting with is allowing you to see the things that you're going through is normal. You had to be able to go through that to get to that. Everything is a process. You have to be able to trust that process. Even when you're scared and don't understand where it's taking you, because a lot of things are shifting to be able to put you on a certain plane that they want you on or a certain direction. So you had to be able to go through these different, you know, these di different situations. They're, you know, even breaking up relationships that are not healthy for you. You're allowing, you're, they're being able to allow certain things for you to walk in on that can be very hurtful. I noticed that when my situation of my spiritual awakening happened, I was seeing a lot of things that I didn't want to see. There's currently, I see things that I really don't care for, but it's at that point where I'm okay. You know, I'm better. I'm good. You know, if that's somebody's decision, that's just somebody's decision. I just wish everybody well, whether or not they made a, a negative impact in my life or a positive one. I just wish everybody well, you know, no place anything on nobody. My, I'm so blessed to be able to experience the things that I've experienced in my life because it been able to, uh, allows me to be able to see things as a blessing in disguise, even though there's sometimes we get in our feelings when it comes to certain relationships, like, oh, I can't stand this, da, 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 and you're looking at it in a negative way. But anything, whether if it was good or bad, it taught you something. You know, it comes in anything that you've come in connection with, you have been able to learn and put that in a file to be able to say, OK, I learned this. I'm glad, you know, this this is something I can t put in my knowledge bowl and be able to use it in another time. So it's just allowing you to be able to venture off and do the things that, you know, that you really want to do in your life. You have to be able to have that faith in yourself, have to be able to have that confidence that you, whatever you're trying to aim for, you do have that power to get it. So it's just like we can't be in that negative state of mind of being doubtful because you know your energy and your mind is a very powerful thing. So it's like whatever you're projecting out to the universe is going to bring it back. Cause you got to remember, the universe doesn't see anything good or bad. It just sees energy. So whatever you're putting towards that, you will be able to receive that back. So you got to make sure right now you're closer to your blessings. You're already in that new chapter, so you're closer to your blessings than you actually are surprised that you are. So you have to be able to stay focused in that peaceful energy, whatever you're giving off. So being able to look at it in a healthy way, 
knowing that every experience you're having is is you know is contributing to your healing process so being able to look at it in a positive frame of mind that's what you have to do i have to keep reminding myself look at it in a positive frame of mind if you're not where you want to be yet doesn't mean that you're not going to be there but you have to go through all these series of situations to go through to get to where you want to go to so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video much love to you as well and um let me see who I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Gabriel. Much love to you as well. Um, to uh, Jeriah Mitchell. Much love to you as well. You know, we're all going through, you know, a series of situations where it feels like we're really going through it. So I'm, I'm sending uplifting vibes and loving vibes and comforting vibes towards each and every one of you. Because, you know, we're all going through some really tough situations right now. And it can make you feel like you're overwhelmed. So, you know, if you need to take that break, please take that break. But, you know, don't give off on what, you know, you can't go a th day without thinking about. So, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Share. You know, hit that bell. Um, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wise.